day 311 for the vlog. Day rig into seven. Got up in time for the track workout, which was nice, but I knew it was gonna be chilly, so I checked the weather. It was 40 degrees. So I wore my long running tights and a long compression shirt just to keep warm. Uh, it wasn't too, I mean, too bad. I, I know it's been colder weather up in Colorado, but right now, going from like the 112s, 115s a few months ago down to 40, it just, it feels like a huge swing. And it was definitely a light breeze too, so that made it colder. But when I got up this morning, alarm went off, and I was like, come on, Pelp, let's get up, let's go. And she just didn't move. She just sat curled there in a little ball. She's like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and stay warm. I'm like, all right. So instead of going out, walking her, coming back, changing, getting out the track, I just went out, changed, used the restroom, took off to the track, came back, tried to walk her. She didn't want to go. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to sit down for a minute and maybe take a nap. So I tried to take a nap. I think I got 10 minutes in out of the half hour. So it didn't go well. I felt a little bit tired today, and, but ended up walking a dog for only about 15, 20 minutes, which I don't like to do. I like to give her at least 20 minimum, try to get to 30. And I'm not sure if it's just the cold or it's the fireworks. Maybe she's still sensing, but She's definitely having a hard time going outside. Not that she has a hard time going to the bathroom, that's fine. It's just the initial get the leash on, get the harness on, get out the door. That's the tough part right now. And I don't like to pull her out of the kennel unless like, I really have to go somewhere, like to work today. I was like, come on, I try to give her a little nudge. Like, come on, I'm not mad at you, but I need you to get out the kennel so you can go to the restroom and not have any accidents inside when I leave. So I got her out, and once we are outside, she was fine. She was sniffing everything. She was running around. So it was good. And I think the finally, the sun finally started to come out, so that was nice. But it was, was a little bit late to work today, which I don't like to do. And then at work, someone else called in, so we were a little bit short. I had to pick up the slack a little bit. Uh, then I got a phone call on the end. Or, you know, I guess one of the cool things I guess to mention too is my buddy Nate was there and he's like, Dave, you're you're a fairly fit person. I was like, yeah, thanks. You know, I try to be. I'm not the best, but I'm always trying to learn and get better. And I said, what do you what do you recommend? It's like this thing is asking me to do like, like a calorie count of I think he said 2,700 to like 3,200 calories a day. And he was thinking, like, if I eat that, I'm gonna balloon up, aren't I? And like, well might depend a little bit, you know, it depends if you're, how often you're working out and walking and moving around and someone who's probably a little bit taller might burn more calories than someone who might be a little shorter, so you, just because you're probably 6'2", 6'3", I believe, you might burn a little bit more than the average calories, which I think is that 2,500 mark, I believe is what it is. Excuse me. It's been a while since I checked that, so I'm don't quote me on that, but I'm trying to give him a, a reference point. So I said, maybe that's what it is. If, if you took this little survey and filled it out correctly, then maybe that's it. Maybe I asked, like, are you doing calorie count right now? He's like, no, I never count it. I'm like, maybe that's lower than what you are right now. So who knows? Give it a try. See, see if you can start moving around, lifting weights, walking, swimming, cycling, whatever it is you want to do see if that doesn't work like yeah I'll do that I tried to give them more options like you know there's so many options besides just going to the gym or running I was like it's like I know I love running but it took me two years to get into it so I don't I know it's not for everyone and if you really like weights then start with weights but for sure word of advice don't jump in and get so sore where you're you do weights on Monday and you don't lift again until Saturday Sunday or even the next week do something a little bit lighter where you're just moving and you can do it again something the next day and the next day and the next day so always when you're beginning stop a little bit before you hit that max and that way you can come back and like you know what I can do more I'm not fatigued I'm not too tired 
and you're excited to come back the next day and you don't feel like you're defeated. I, I don't know, I'm excited to talk about fitness with them, especially since it was me and him. And the other two guys were gone. Well, the other guy, kind of a fun story, He, his wife was scheduled to, to go to the hospital to have a baby. Because they were at, was it 32 weeks, 34 weeks? But then they get there at the hospital and they said, we don't have room for you, so unless you start having major contractions or some other issue, you can come in and check in at four. And so we just kind of laughed. I mean, I don't think the baby cares what time it is. Like, <laughs> if it's time to go, it's time to go. So we briefly talked about that and then jumped back on the fitness with my buddy Nate. So hopefully we can maybe meet up with them once or Three times a month, maybe go hiking with him. And I know he's into basketball a little bit, but he says his knee's been bothering him. So I don't know how much movement he's going to want to do until his knee gets better. And I thought about doing maybe something after work, seeing if I could do like a small training session for like 30 or 40 minutes with anyone who wants to show up afterwards. But I know it's kind of taking time away from my day, and I don't know who's going to show up, and I don't have enough fitness equipment to train more than like two or three people at a time so I don't know just an idea could be fun to do but I also don't want to be stuck there and someone's like oh can we stay later and later and later like, I got it I got my stuff to do today too you know I still want to run I still want to go relax I still want to go walk the dog but I don't know good luck Nate I mean hopefully if you have any more questions I'm there to help you and give you some insight or another alternative keep you motivated whatever it is buddy happy to help and then after that I talked to my mom for a bit went to the grocery store I had a fun talk with my mom we it was fun hearing her talk about Netflix she just finished the season 2 of Selena and she already jumped into Virgin River, I believe it was. I'm not too familiar with it, but she said it's funny, it's cute. I like this character. There's no commercials. I'm already on episode three. So, so I like that I can kind of binge watch it. When normally she has to record her shows, fast forward through commercials, she's like, oh my gosh, I love it. I love that I don't have to worry about commercials. I can just let it play and play. It was nice having that small connection there and then we talked about other relationship stuff and stuff going on this weekend while I was shopping at the grocery store I was picking out food for the rest of the week or at least a couple days I ended up just like you know what I want some spaghetti I was trying to get some spaghetti and parmesan chicken the ones I found at Fry's but I couldn't find that so I was looking around for some other kind of substitute so the most I found was some kind of tortellini or shells with, with meat in there some kind of beef I don't know I was looking for more of chicken I know beef sits heavy with me but I know I need to get my calorie count back up if I want to start doing more pull-ups and push-ups and squats and dips and everything else just need to keep my body <clears throat> with significant nutrition and proteins calories from there, walked the pup, went to go talk to a friend for a little bit, that was uh, interesting, we were going to watch Harry Potter, and I was like, let's just talk for a bit, I'm like, okay, you know, what are we going to do, and he's like, what are we going to put the 20th anniversary on, and then talk, I'm like, no, no, if you want to talk, we can talk, and then just, all of a sudden, like, the floodgates opened, and just, whew, and they just said, hey, something happened to me in 2020, I know I've known you for the last four or five years, but... I didn't tell you because I didn't want to, to ruin our friendship. I was like, I don't know how it's going to ruin it. And I tried to open up the door, like, do you want to talk about it? And they just said, I'll be talking to my therapist about it. And they just said, I need to tell you that you've been there for me more than you know. Thank you for being a support system. And it caught me off guard, and I felt great. You know, I'm so happy to be here. I don't know what I did. I'm glad we can talk and text and hang out, watch Marvel movies together. They said, you know, I, I, they said, I don't want to go into it. I don't want to burden you with anything. So 
No, you can tell me whatever you want, whatever you need to. I'm happy to be here for you. I wish I could know more about what's going on, but I understand if it's too much, so... Yeah, so I just tried to be there for him. And I cried a little bit. And I was like, no, it's okay to cry it out. She's like, it's alright when you cry. Don't, don't feel bad. If you're crying, it's probably for a good reason, so... Get that, get that cry out of your system. You know, welcome that and help you move on. Help you start that recovery process. Know that you're stronger and better. You're working your way through it and this is the first step. After that, came back, walked the pup a little bit, finished the push-ups. And in my head all day, I've just felt like doing more pull-ups. I, I wasn't too sore, mainly the last couple days, so I put up the doorway pull-up machine. I'm getting tired, I'm forgetting the words, but the one you hang on the door, you just loop it over the doorway pull-up bar. That's, we'll go with that. I did two sets of ten, and the second set felt better than the first set. So that's good. And that was after finishing the last three sets of the push-ups. But I know I need to keep those going. I think ideally I'd like to do at least a hundred pull-ups, a hundred push-ups a day. And if not more, I know my goal is to get into the one hour of pull-ups. Five every minute. So I know I'm going to need to add on way more than 100, but I think 100 is a good base to start. And so maybe do, maybe if I could do like 100, 200, 300, back down to 100, 200, something like that. Like just keep mixing it up, keep adding on. I keep my body getting used to saying that we're going to do pull-ups. So <laughs> let's start adapting. Get used to it, body. I'm going to be doing these for a while. <clears throat> with that, the day's done. Reading's done. Oh, feeling, feeling good. Feeling good going into the next few days. Even my mom, when we were texting, talking about friendships and the weekend, the movies, she's like, I can just tell there's a little, a little more excitement in your voice. I'm happy to hear that. Great, I'm happy to hear that too. And hopefully there's more fun and exciting things to come. So with that, run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.